An update now on Hurricane Michael. A death in Bay City in Bay County brings the death toll up to 42. But there are more positive signs in the recovery effort. A boil water advisory has been lifted for Lynn Haven, Panama City, and Panama City Beach. FEMA has also opened its first disaster recovery center in Bay County. In Georgia, lawmakers will hold a special session to come up with funding uh, with hurricane relief. Amid the rubble of Hurricane Michael, there are stories of perseverance. Some of those come from the students at Florida State's Panama City campus. A good number of the students not only call the campus home, but the surrounding community as well. This is their testimony to survival in their own words. I packed three days worth of clothes to leave. When I really should have just packed up the whole life because no one thought that this is what was going to happen. The area east of the Hathaway Bridge was was hit very hard. Uh, Jackson County, Calhoun County, uh, places where we get a lot of students from, uh, they were hit hard. And it's going to be tough on families in these areas. And just to think that only a couple hours of damage made me a 23-year-old who's homeless. To have nothing to come back home to is just, it was the worst feeling in the whole entire world. We knew it was bad in our area because we live in Parker. And so when you go through Mexico Beach and then you go through Tyndall Air Force Base, we're the first city after the bridge. So we had a lot of damage in that area. You know, we had several friends and family who were telling us stories about how they were just in closets hoping that the storm wouldn't hit that one closet because they knew everything around them was gone. I want people to think about how we are survivors. We did manage to make through this. We are surviving, we are living every day. It may not be to the standards of what we would want, but we're doing it. And I just hope that the community and the area and just everyone around us just realizes that this is not gonna be gone in a week. I don't have a house, I don't have any of that stuff, but every time I heard from a friend, I thought, I'm safe. My friends are safe. My family is safe. We can rebuild. We can move forward. That's all that matters. There were a lot of hugs and a lot of shared stories. Um, some tears, some people uh, shedding tears, but a lot of laughs also. Because we know we're all in this together. And I, I guess that's the message that I want to send to our faculty and to our staff and the students. We are all in this together. If Florida State's going to help um, not only our faculty, staff, and students get through this, but we're going to help our communities get through this. So I was happy to hear that our campus was still standing, that we'd be able to reopen, and reopen pretty quickly, too. Um, that gave me a sense of normalcy and a sense of we will be okay, and <laughs> we will. <laughs> Sorry. I have never wanted something more than I want a degree, and this storm will not it will not change that. So I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to graduate with 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 honors. Because right now I have a 3.9 GPA, which I wish it was a four. But I'm not I'm not going to let this hold me back from my studies and my schooling. I'm not. It's going to be really really tough. It's going to take a lot of hard work and determination. But when I get that diploma in my hands, it's going to be worth everything. Mother Nature is cooperating with the recovery forecast. We have dry weather expected through the next several days for Panama City, Florida. We'll have more on your forecast next.